never really was good at the rules anyways. Mm -hmm. Um, today, uh, I took a jog around the block just because I felt like it, trying to get back in shape. I mean, I'm already in shape, but like, you know, just trying to make, maintain the shape. And there was this lady handing out the, uh, the what would Jesus do pamphlets, right? So I, I'm, I'm, I'm over here jogging and I like stop for a stretch. She walks up to me and gives me the Jesus pamphlet. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 I don't have any pockets. I don't have any pockets, <laughs> which I was lying. I actually had pockets. And uh, she walks off, but then I started thinking like, yo, I should do a comedy sketch about all these, you know, what would Jesus do pamphlet givers <laughs> out here in Koreatown. So like, I'm running around the block trying to find her. And I finally find her after about 10 minutes. And I'm like, please, let me get that pamphlet. And like the look <laughs> on her face <laughs> was just so exciting. Because by this time, like, I'm already sweating. <laughs> It's cold outside. Like, I'm sweating, like, yeah, let me get that plan for please. She's like, oh my God, like, I got one. Like, God touched his heart. And now he wants to turn to Christ. Little did she know I'm trying to do a comedy sketch about her. It's funny how life works. Because I didn't even, because I smoked weed before my job, so I didn't even really think about it. I was kind of confused. Like, why does she look so happy? Oh, she thinks I'm trying to go Christian now. Great. Bless her soul, man. <laughs> Bless her soul. It was great. I'm getting tired of all these conspiracy theorists. Uh, since, ever since Donald Trump won the presidency, man, it just seems like everybody's a conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theorist, man. Like, people talking about the towers being, you know, knocked down by, by the government and, you know, the levees broke because bloody woody woody. But, like, no, it didn't happen. Like, it, it happened for natural causes. And just because you're saying some, some strange facts doesn't mean it's true. Um, and, I, and I also think about the conspiracy theories. It, it's very interesting how like they never think that they're conspiracy theories. Uh, if, if you call them on it, you're like, yo, man, are you conspiracy theories? Oh, no, not me. But uh, did you hear that there was like five shooters in the Las Vegas shooting? I'm like, oh, shit. Like, that's a conspiracy right there. They're like, nah, it's not a conspiracy. It just has like conspiracy-like tendencies that I'm pointing out. Like that makes you a conspiracy theorist. No matter how much you walk around the bush, you still have conspiracies, motherfucker. I'm just saying. Baseball is a terrible sport. I'm sorry that you guys are Dodgers fans. I'm assuming since you live in LA, but it's a horrible sport to begin with. Like whether or not the Dodgers win or lose doesn't really matter. It's a bad sport. I mean, honestly, think about why you go to baseball games, and I guarantee you, it's not because of baseball. You go for the cheap tickets, some nostalgic feeling you had with your grandpa or your uncle or somebody else, like back in the past, you used to like give you peanuts and Cracker Jacks and some fucking song that's not even that good. And like drinking beers, not even in the game. Like I used to work at the Dodger Stadium last year. Half the crowd wasn't even in the stadium. They'd be like by the beer section talking about the Lakers. <laughs> Stupid. I understand though if you have like eight kids and you wanna, you know, bring the family out for a good game. I get it, but man, I hate baseball. Um, I also hate gin and juice. Horrible drink. <laughs> I think, I mean, Snoop Dogg's one of the one person like in the rap game who I believe will always keep it 100 with me. But I think when he made that song, uh, Gin and Juice, he was bullshitting. <laughs> There's no way he was rolling down the street. Puffing in though, sipping on gin and juice. Fuck no, man. He probably threw that shit out the window, had some Ciroc. <laughs> Ciroc wasn't even out during that time, but he was just thinking about it. Like, he was probably on set, like, hey, where's the PA at? You actually put gin in this motherfucker? You know what it tastes like? Pine cones and strawberries? Gross. <laughs> Pass me the Hennessy. It's a different color, but who cares? If I do have a son, I'm gonna name him Free Wi Fi. Uh, I think that'd just be a good name just to fuck with people. I just want to be in the library one time, like, yo, hey, free Wi Fi, free Wi Fi. Motherfucker, like, hey, you know the Wi Fi password? Hey, now I'm just talking to my son, shut up. Be at a baseball game, but hey, free Wi Fi, free Wi Fi. Everybody's like, oh shit, you got free Wi Fi out here? This baseball game sucks. I need to get on the internet real quick. Yeah. Alright, these jokes are great. Um, my Wi-Fi password is currently nigga please. So if you ever do come over, 
you know it. You don't have to like repeat it or anything. Um, I was doing some comedy sketches over at my crib uh, recently, and we had a white female in the sketch, and uh, we were inside my crib, and somebody asked me what the Wi-Fi password was, and I was like, nigga, please. And then he asked my roommate what the Wi-Fi password was, and he's like, nigga, please. <laughs> and she, she looked really like disturbed. She was like, oh my God, they're so rude about their Wi-Fi password. <laughs> and finally, I was like, no, that's the actual Wi-Fi password. This nigga, please. She's like, oh, I get it. And then we made a comedy sketch about her. It was great. <laughs> it was great. Ah, oh, man. Jokes. Uh, nah, I don't even know that joke. <laughs> I'm about to say, I put, whose mans is this? Because something happened. You ever just say, whose mans is this? Like somebody just doing dumb shit in public? Like, yo. Get your mans, bro. I forget what he was doing though. I think, I think it was some dude on a bus eating Chinese food, and he just like dropped it, and then some other dude came up and started eating Chinese food. That's what it was. And I was like, yo, who fucking mans is this? Like, who does that, bro? You a bum? We not even in Crenshaw right now. We still in K Town. Hold your brakes. All right, I'm done. I'm Emmanuel Wright. I'm out. Like,